planet Earth, our home. Time of the pandemic, time of fear, time of uncertainty. A prison ship of an alien civilization crashed on Earth. Who are the convicts from the galaxy? What could they possibly want from humans? During the pandemic, people are behaving more and more irrationally. Is it possible that the aliens have something to do with this? No one cares anymore about what could be the truth. No one believes in anything. You're alone. I've found the Truther's base. What base? It's a computer store. Yeah, and they have microchips inside for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Luckily, you're not entirely alone. A certain mysterious lady starts helping you. It's snowing. It's winter, so there's snow. Do you know that it's not real snow? What is it then? It's the moon. It's the moon's dandruff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, maybe not exactly a lady, but how does she know so much about what's been going on? I've got good news. Okay, don't leave me hanging. A container ship transporting aluminum has sunk. Aha, uh -huh. and what's the good news? The entire shipment was ordered by supporters of conspiracy theories for the production of hats. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't matter how the lady knows. For now, you just need to protect humankind. The entire humankind that remained. This one's titled Flat Earthers. See what these two reptilians are talking those lizards. I'd rather not. <laughs> they think they can pitch people lines about the earth being flat? Whatever. I've seen so much bullshit on the internet. But they're also discrediting scientists. And when the time comes, when the scientists reveal the truth, some people won't believe them and will just follow like lambs to the slaughter. Damn it. That would be a shame. Right? There's no time to waste. So, do you have a mission for me? Yes, indeed. Grab your gun and whack as many of those filthy creatures as you can. Yes, boss lady. Aim and fire at the invaders. With a bit of luck, you should also find a decent rifle there. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, as you can see, we have a few weapons already. And they go in a specific set of tiers. Your gun is automatically legendary and infinite ammo. Purple tier is actually... Let's see, in that right here, it is purple, right? Yep, purple tier is actually uncommon. Blue is your rare. Then we'll go ahead and start with the buff here. I'm glad they started me at the beginning. Headshots are the best possible. Once we're done with the carnage, I'll get myself a paraglider and fly to Australia. Why Australia? Well, to the Earth's ends to jump off, glide for a bit, and get back. 
Can't you glide here where you are? But I want to see that turtle with the elephant supporting the world. You're crazy. What, so it's not true? You're crazy thinking that NASA will let you Always. do that. <laughs> okay, so you always want to check your alleyways. You might come across some power ups. Uh, so, so far, make sure you aim for the head. That's how you're going to get good drops in the process. Check your alleyways. But otherwise, you want to try to stay on the course. And let them bastards come to you. I think the flat earth globes count as like maybe a collectible. I haven't really figured out what else to do with it. Yet. Shots here, guys. So give me a second. Like I said, I'm using a really small screen right now. And like I did say, I want I recommend checking the alleys, but I might have to skip some of the alleys myself here. I am on the bit of a time crunch. Got your basic zombies in both big and small. And then now our second variate is the crawler. earlier I'm going to speed check the alleys Side note, the plus icons or the health looking icons aren't necessarily for your health. There are more permanent power-ups, whereas the boxes that you're picking up are timed power-ups. I'm not seeing anything as I was saying, I'm on a time crunch, so that's why I'm not doing any um, in-depth exploration on the alleyway.
Alright, now we got a yellow one. I think this one might be the better one for me for now. But the purple one is the best. Peace and quiet, as wide as the eye can see. I can hear you firing all the time. Peace and quiet. Blue sky above me, green grass under my bare feet. Are you high? I'm a haven of peace. A composed lotus flower on a calm surface of a lake. Hello, this is Base. Come in. I'm stepping lightly towards the edge of the earth and looking down. I see an elephant. It's not funny. I stroke the elephant's trunk. Because I'm running out of ammo. Give me a drop fast. Now you're talking. Sending a drop. NASA launched another satellite again at night. Yeah, supposedly to track the spread of the pandemic. I'm curious whether it crashed somewhere already. Why would it crash? When I toss something, it usually falls. <laughs> but a satellite flies around the Earth on an orbit. But the Earth is flat. It has no orbit. Unless they launched it on a string. <laughs> Gravity is a kind of, like... A string? You're falling for their manipulation. They're all lying. <laughs> Careful. I might just hit you with a GPS steered A bomb from the orbit, and you'll see all of the stars at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Some good weapon upgrades. There's a checkpoint up ahead. That means my weapons will be saved even if I end the game.
go ahead and checkpoint this bitch. Done your standard zombies, your tank zombies, your boom boom zombies. And now we're getting into the uh, battle like this kind of zombie. And these have a trick to them. And just above their head and shoot their antenna and they will drop their satellite. There it goes. To each their own. There's some people out there that don't want to vax, and it's just legitimate. They're not. The Earth is them. not flat. I know that genius. The Earth is concave. Ugh, you must have inhaled too much powder from your gun. But I have evidence. Have mercy. If the Earth was flat, soles of shoes would wear out evenly. Whereas if the Earth was spherical, they would wear out more in the middle, and in reality, they wear out the most on the edges. Therefore, the Earth is concave. <laughs> Your brain folds are flat, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, I don't blame them. Who? The Flat Earthers. Huh? All the time they're staring into their phones, where all maps are flat. It's the same with atlases. Have you ever seen a globe? Oh, screw you. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Mm, just pre recording a while. Oh, my God, I'm going to take that for break. For my next paycheck, I want you to donate a dollar to a collection of flat earthers who want to build a rocket and send it with some fancy camera to space to prove that the earth is flat. <laughs> You're crazy. Crazy or not, it's my money, my business. I want to be updated regularly when they're sending that rocket and fall flat on their stupid faces. <laughs> you must be crazy to think that you're getting any money from me.
What if we bought the entire world's ammo supply, and then sold it for a lot more to those fighting with zombies? That would be hard to do. But what if we tried? Then many people wouldn't be able to afford ammo, and there would be more zombies in the world. But then it would be easy to lure them to the edge of Flat Earth and throw them into the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> do you want the turtle to get sick? <laughs>
for those of you watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and share button. It helps out more than you realize. Head on over to our YouTube main page. There you can find all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like, or there is that thumbs down option, but I do not recommend it. We have that guy over in the UK named Corvus who likes to cut a bitch. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, flicker ding dong, so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until our next video or podcast, I will see you. Shit, what up? <laughs> what? 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 What?